Hi everybody, today I'll be talking to you about the new AI features in Amaze. To get started, let's go over the configuration. If I navigate to Amaze's properties page and scroll towards the bottom, I'll see the AI section. First option is to choose our AI processor. Out of the box, Amaze is configured to work with the OpenAI LLM, so if you have an API key for OpenAI, it's as easy as selecting that as your processor, creating a record on the sysauth profile basic table, uh, where you store your API key. You then use the sysid from that record and paste it here in the properties page. If you have an internal or custom LLM that you use, or an LLM other than OpenAI, there is some additional configuration that involves creating an implementation of an extension point in ServiceNow, which we do have documentation for, so feel free to reach out to us. With my OpenAI setup, I'm going to go ahead and select Save, and then I can go over to our article here. On the right-hand side, you see the option now to speed it up when starting a new article. I'm going to click on that to generate some content. I select a template, and then fill out the prompts here. We'll do paid leave in Oregon as our subject. Our audience will be internal employees, with keywords being paid parental leave. We can select the tone from the drop-down for the AI to use, or you can input your own if you'd like. For the sake, we'll choose Professional and select Next. By default, it'll generate me four different topics. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to move it down to one here. I hit Submit, and then it starts to populate that content into the template that we selected previously. Once that's ready, it'll paste it to the canvas here, and I can start reviewing and editing it myself. Now, a few other features I wanted to go over is our chat bot. On the bottom left, we can select the AI assistant, and we have a chat box here. We can have a conversation. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to have it give me a few more um, points on paid leave. We'll hit enter. It'll generate that content that I asked for. Perfect. We'll close it out. I'm going to paste it into my article and review that. It's a great way to continue to add some more content to your articles. One more feature I wanted to touch on. If we hover on the toolbar of a specific text box, you'll see the AI suite option. I'm going to click that. A few options, I can select spelling and grammar check, I can modify tone, or I can translate. Let's go over the translate feature. So on the left, it detects the original language. Now if I have an audience that I want to translate it for, I can put in that new language there, select go, and then it'll translate that content for me. After giving it a quick review, I can accept those changes and we'll see it populate on the canvas there. And that's it. You're now ready to use AI to build interactive articles in a maze.